Hi guys, welcome to Big Loss Official. Recently I did a video on 10 of the most impressive performances we've seen over the years in Strongman. And rightly so, I got a lot of stick for not including Mateusz Kiliuszkowski. This guy is truly incredible and it got me going, looking back at some of his performances. And, and just to be fair to me with the, the greatest performances video, which by the way, you can watch, check it out up here. Mateusz is unbelievable. And just watching back through some of his performances, I could have picked a whole 10 list just on Mateusz. I've decided to stick to five and it's a mixture of incredible performances against incredible opposition. So I'm not just going to include some of his, his world records, which he has countless, but we will include a few world records, some performances that I feel were really just an outstanding performance against really, really high caliber opposition. And then maybe one or two that just show how much guts this guy has, how much determination he has, and you know, things that really inspire, I think. So we get a good mix, and I'll let you guys decide if you agree with them. And as always, you can comment below with your favorites. So before we get into the events, we'll just take a quick look at some of his incredible achievements already in his time in Strongman. So, so far, he's the World Ultimate Strongman Champion, winning that title in 2019. He's had two podium finishes at the Arnold Strongman Classic. He's the winner of the Arnold's Africa in 2017, winner of the Arnold's Europe's in 2019. He's a three-time Giants Live winner, and he's twice placed second at the World's Strongest Man. So we'll kick off at number five on my list. We're going to go back to the 2018 Ultimate Strongman Summer Mania. It's their version of their World Championships. This was a full contest, but in the middle of the contest, Mateusz took part in a world record attempt on the dumbbell press, one-handed dumbbell press, and he was going for 150 kilos, 330 pounds lifted from the floor, used both hands to get it up to the shoulder, and then to use leg power and pressing power to lock the dumbbell out overhead in one arm. Absolutely insane number to put over with one hand holding 150 kilos over your head now ever since i saw this Matthias has been the guy i kind of look at when i'm coaching athletes on how to do the dumbbell if you watch him he has a narrow stance with his feet so he can engage both legs into the movement he gets right under the dumbbell his strong triceps lock it out and it's a truly incredible performance and i remember being at this show watching him warm up and he was actually struggling in the warm-ups. And although this lift wasn't part of the competition, this was this was actually an extra lift. So he was competing in a show. He did six events as part of the competition. We'd already done Log for Max, which by the way, he won. And then he went on to do the dumbbell as a separate event. The only athlete doing it broke the world record and then went on to finish the show. It was an incredible, incredible feat of strength. I still believe it's the world record currently. And if there's anyone that can beat it, it's himself. We could have picked a number of overhead events for Kiliuszkowski. He truly is an incredible presser. But the event I'm going to go back to was the first ever World Ultimate Strongman in Dubai. It was an overhead medley, starting with a log, went onto a dumbbell, a heavy axle, and then finally finishing with a shield, actually. It was a 140 kilo shield, but very, very big, very awkward. All the guys really struggled with this. Again, a show that I competed in. So I like to sometimes pick shows that I've competed in because I can really give you an idea of how impressive a feat of strength it is. I think sometimes when we see, we, we, we watch the clips and he can make it look so easy that it's really hard to judge how impressive a feat of strength it is. 12 guys were competing in this show, but 12 of the absolute best in the world at the time. And only three managed to finish all four implements. So Matthias's time was 36 seconds. Hafthor Julius Bjornsson managed to do all four in around 42, 43 seconds. And the only other athlete to finish all four was Brian Shaw in a time of 72. The rest of us were somewhere between two and three implements. It really was a tough overhead event. This is already during a very, very long contest. The athletes were tired at the time. And the way he coped with each individual implement, and the ability to adapt from, from going from a log to into a dumbbell, into a, to an axle, and then finishing on this really awkward shield, just is a testament to this guy's ability to adapt, to change things just at that last minute, and still perform while he's exhausted, while we've been out in the heat for such a long day, this guy doesn't care. He comes in, absolutely blows everyone away. And for me, one of his most impressive overhead achievements. 
So another event that Kiliszkowski is absolutely regarded as being the, the best in the world at now is any type of moving event. When it comes to either yokes or farmer's walk type events, he's absolutely dynamite. I'm picking this year's Arnold frame carry. It's a 400 kilo frame, 880 pounds, up a ramp. Very, very tough event. It's another event where one of the reasons I'm picking it is not just his time, which by the way was seven seconds and a new world record, but you look at the caliber of athletes he's up against and the margin in difference in time and, and, and results is just so great that you just think, what is this guy capable of? Is he from, you know, is he from earth? So in this contest, only three men out of the 10 finished with um, Kiliszkowski breaking the world record seven seconds. You've got to go back all the way to Mike Jenkins was the last kind of person that was doing under eight seconds on this type of event. In the 2020 contest, you had Jerry Pritchett coming in at around 10 seconds. And then in third place was the world's strongest man at the time, Martins Lissis, in around 17 seconds. The likes of Hafthor Bjornsson couldn't finish this event. You had 10 of the absolute strongest men in the world. It's such a tough event. It's not just like a normal farmer's walk where you just kind of run and, you know, you go as far as you can. You've got to go up the ramp as well. So you've got to be used to going up that incline. To do it in seven seconds, absolutely inspiring. Number two on our list, and we are sticking at the Arnold Classic, this time going back to the 2019 show. Kiliuszkowski on the stone to shoulder. This is truly one of the most incredible feats of strength, performances in Strongman we have ever seen. He lifts this stone, it weighs 186 kilos, approximately, yeah, that's about 410 pounds. It's an awkward object. It's not just a, a you know, a, a normal Atlas stone. This is an awkward looking stone. The athletes have to figure out how it's gonna roll up their body. And again, it shows this guy's ability to adapt. He lifts this stone five times. Now, to put this into perspective again, and, and you know, this is one of the things I'm trying to show with this guy. We're going in competition against the best guys in the world. Now, second place, Martins Lissis. An incredible stone lifter, someone that understands awkward objects, he can adapt really well, gets two reps. Hafthor Bjornsson, one of the, the, the best stone lifters ever, a huge mountain of a man, only managing one rep. And the only other athlete to get one rep was Belsak. But Kiliuszkowski lifting this five repetitions, he just seemed to figure it out. He's got these long levers and he just knows how to use his body and manipulate his body to enhance the strength that he has. Truly, truly an incredible performance again. And, you know, one of the, I could go on with lists and lists of this guy. When I think more and more about it, he's just such a dynamic athlete. He's done so many impressive things over the years. But for me, the performance on this stone in 2019 definitely, definitely holds a, a top spot in anyone's list. So like I said, I could have picked so many events. This guy has broken world records in farmer's walks, yokes, you know, car walks, his truck pulls. He's done so many impressive performances. And this event that I'm putting in now, he didn't even win. So why am I putting it in at number one? We're gonna go back, it was the 2019 World Ultimate Strongman final event, the 10 stone Atlas series. Before this event, he tore his bicep. He actually, he was going into the final event of the, the Atlas Stone Run. He was leading the competition, but he still needed to place in the top seven to secure his number one spot. Now, if anyone out there has ever torn a bicep, you don't go and lift Atlas Stones. It's just not, it's, it's really not possible. <laughs> I've torn my bicep and you, you can't then contract the bicep. So what he does, he straps it up keeps his arms straight and you can see his, his one hand isn't even clenched. He's just got his hand open. It's not even touching the stone. He's using his pecs to squeeze his arms into the stone while his other arm does the work. And he's just trying to manipulate, again, use his body in the best way that he can without it working 100% to get these stones up. You have to remember there was $75,000 on the line in this contest. Biggest prize money in Strongman ever. In other competitions, guys might have just think, you know, sorry, I'm not going to compete. I'm going to save my body for the next one. It's not his attitude. He wants to win everything he does. He needed to lift seven stones to, to get that seventh place. And you can see the pain on his face. He keeps plodding on, keeps pushing, keeps lifting. Absolutely inspiring performance. It shows the want of the guy, the determination. We all know 
and of sin, what he's capable of. But when you see that 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 mental side and that determination, then you start to understand why this guy is such an incredible athlete. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this list to look at Mr. Kiliuskowski's five best performances in Uncle Oz's eyes. I hope you've enjoyed it. This guy could do a whole top 10 list all on his own. I think by the time his career is done, we'll have even more to add to the list. Make sure you comment below with your favorites. And if you'd like to see a video on any other athletes, let us know. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.